Welcome back Gymnasticsville. I'm here in the same place I was for the last few interviews. We're still at the Illinois practice facility here in the locker room. I'm here with NCAA national ring champion, super boss, Alex Dayab. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thank yeah. You. Uh, I'm just looking at the board over here, and we're going to show you guys Gymnasticsville, but you are three titles away from the all-time leader for rings. That's amazing, first of all, but what does that mean to you to beat that record this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Um, Illinois has had an awesome history of great ring guys in the past, and you know, I don't think about it too much when I'm at the competition. I just try to be the best guy in the meet that day, and uh, yeah, I've got a couple more to go to be number one. Yeah, we all want to know. What age did you learn to cross? Were you like, what, 9, I was 10, 11, 11 yeah. years old doing a cross? If anybody knows, it's pretty hard. I didn't learn my first cross until I was 19. So you had quite a few years ahead of me. What well, makes sense. And you're also a Big Ten champion. What, is that, what does that mean to you? Are you talking about the team? Or team wise, yeah, 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 team. Uh, yeah. You know, a few years yeah, no, you've been in second, was, you finally yeah. got over the hump. Yeah, no, that was crazy. Um, we came in third place, sec, uh, or second place, three years in a row, and we were devastated. Every single year, our goal was to be champions, and um, we just remembered that, reminded ourselves like how much it hurt to get second place every year, and that really pushed us. Finally, we made it happen this year. No, oh, that that was great to see you guys do that. What events are you looking to contribute this year for the team? Um, mainly floor, rings, vault, and high bar. Um, I'm working on some upgrades on those events as well. So. Okay. Other than rings, what event do you like competing the best? Uh, probably floor. Floor. Mm -hmm. And why? You just. Um, I don't know. It's just always an exciting event to compete. Get out there, and I like the adrenaline pump from it. And. Okay. All right. You guys got a bunch of new freshmen and you know, new classmates. How do you look in? How does that new class look for you, for you guys? Um, they're looking pretty good. Like they made some big improvements over the summer. Um, so we're getting them. We lost a lot of good seniors, but a lot of the guys we who stayed on the team have made some huge improvements over the summer as well. And uh, some of the guys you probably haven't seen before, they're going to be big players for us this year. All right. What's key for you guys to contend and compete well for a national title this year? What are some? Um, I would say the keys are staying healthy and then just being consistent in competitions. Um, we've got some awesome guys with big start values, but the key is hitting clean in the meets when it matters. All right. You have a brother on the team. What is that like having your younger brother on the team? Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. I wasn't sure how it would be like at first, but when he came, it was just like we were back at home again. Uh, me and him have been on the same club team growing up, and... It's nice being with him again. Awesome. Your coach, Justin Spring, he's an Olympian. We saw him out there. He looks like he's in shape. I mean, what, what, is it, what does it feel like to be coached by such a coach that has just like a lot of energy and just all over the place in a good way? Yeah, no, it's awesome. He's always amping the guys up in the gym, super exciting all the time. Um, and not only like he's so close removed from the sport, he still understands the sport a ton and give some pretty good like technical corrections as well. Awesome. All right. Um, what was your favorite gymnastics moment so far since you've been here? Uh, winning Big Tens as a team. Big Tens, sure. that was yeah. it? No, that's great. And I got one more question. What does it mean to be a fighting alumni? Um, it's something special. Just to go out there, represent my school, um, the Illini. There's so much... Um, team fight out there in the meets with us and uh you know our team's such a brotherhood and we'll do anything for each other and we go out there compete for each other every day and it's something special awesome you're one of you guys are one of the few programs that actually have dual meets with the guys and the girls um i think i can only name a few other programs that actually have it what is that what is that energy like competing on the same arena with the with the guys and girls team um it doesn't change a whole lot. I mean, we're still kind of focusing on us, but there's a lot more energy in the gym, like atmosphere, more fans there, so it's pretty cool. Do it in front of the fans, and then also you'd see the other the girls team doing well. All right, and what other guys are going to be key to you guys competing well this year? Um, I would say 
play is going to be a huge one. Not many people know he's from a uh, national team member from Australia. So he'll be a sophomore this year, and he's pretty good on every event. So he's going to be a huge guy for us. Um, I'd say the upperclassmen mainly, and then uh, Michael Fletcher's a big freshman we got. All right, and what matchup are you looking forward to the most for next year? You guys have a ton of teams it looks like you're competing against. Is there any one that you guys are, are looking into more than the others? or? Um, I wouldn't say there's one more than the other. I think the Big Ten regular season is going to be super competitive this year because that makes the regular season meets really matter because every um, – Big Ten regular season meet, we're fighting for a Big Ten championship. So there's a lot of pressure on the line. So those are going to be probably the big biggest matchups of the year. All right. Other than postseason, yeah. That's what I like to hear. All right, Alex Diab, thanks a lot for the interview. Yeah, thank you. All right.